when I talk about, you know, our goal to celebrate the people and the stories that happens in our magazine and that happens on our blog. And I think the events are a really special way to kind of bring that to life and connect people in person. So 731 Day, I think the spirit of that, of Porch Fest, is really just to get people together and to celebrate and appreciate their community. Hey, this is Shay. This is Mary Helen. Welcome to the Pocket Change Podcast. Where you'll learn better ways to spend, save, and invest and take control of your financial journey. So Mary Helen, on episode 11, we had the downtown director for Jackson, Tennessee on the episode and talked about all things downtown Jackson. You know, we're a credit union founded and headquartered in Jackson, Tennessee, so we want to highlight all the great things that are happening in our community, not only here, but all the areas that we serve. But Specific to Jackson is 731 Day, 731 mm-hmm. Area Code, July 31st. It's a big day, so we're going to uh, learn more about that. And I'm excited to see and talk more about just all the initiatives that go on that day and how we can invest in our community. I mean, so many groups and employers and organizations come together for just a great day of community, so I'm excited to learn more. Today we are so excited to welcome our guest, Courtney Searcy, who's the program director of our Jackson Home. Thanks for being on the podcast today. Thanks for having me. So start off by telling us a little bit about yourself and our Jackson Home. Yeah, so I am the program director of our Jackson Home. Uh, Our Jackson Home is a small nonprofit housed under the co. um, And we do a couple of things. So we have a journal, um, our new issue that just came out Love is wonderful. It. Um, and we do community events. Um, and our goal is really what our mission statement is, and that is to celebrate the people and the stories of the city that we love. Um, so our Jackson home started probably in 2015. Um, I actually, at that point, had just graduated college. And uh, Luke Pruitt, who I think has been on this yes. podcast, yeah, he's been on an and episode. Jim Wilhelm had started a podcast called Our Jackson Home. And there were a handful of us who had recently graduated who were creatives, writers, photographers, um, who just wanted to see something like this happen in Jackson. Uh, and Katie Howerton took the idea of Our Jackson Home as a magazine for her senior art show. Um, I was involved as a writer for that first issue. And... Um, The Co., one of the coolest parts of our story, I think, is that the Co. saw what our Jackson home was and said, we want this to continue. We think this is something important, um, and it has grown to what it is. So I took over as the program director uh, in mm, February of 2020, so a month before before COVID. Great time to Uh start a uh, community-oriented job. Um, but yeah, so I've been here for three years, um, kind of leading our magazine and events and it's been great. So remind us about the mission and the purpose of our Jackson home. Yeah. So the mission statement of our Jackson home, you'll see it on the homepage of our website is to celebrate the people and the stories of the city that we all love, Mm -hmm. Jackson, Tennessee. Which is just, to me, it's so profound because it really is just loving your neighbor and loving who's next to you, um, no matter where you are no matter what your job is or what part of town that you live in. And I think that's even if I'm not from Jackson originally, but coming to Jackson and being in Jackson, you really feel that connection and community um, with those around us that I think that's a great initiative that many people are involved in. You can feel that and have that sense of home and belonging uh, because of the initiatives like our Jackson home. So I think that's great. Yeah. It's a really it's a really wonderful way to kind of learn to see the people around you and kind of the things that they've invested in mm-hmm. for sure. Okay, so let's talk about something fun. Let's talk about 731 Day. It's coming up. How did it earn its name 731? We've talked yes. about it a little bit in the intro, but tell everybody, spell it out. Yeah, so our Jackson Home started celebrating 731 Day, I believe in 2015 or 16. Um, so 731 is obviously our area code yes. and July 31st is 731. Um, so the day was basically started as an initiative to just encourage people to celebrate this place specifically. Uh, so it has grown every single year into something that really has become more of a 
from an R. Jackson home thing to an organic community led sort of day. So on 731 Day, we encourage businesses, organizations, whoever wants to be involved to do something special for 731 Day. So for some businesses, that's a special deal, $7.31 for a meal. Mm -hmm. Um, Someone might offer their service discounted. Someone might have a special workout class that day. Um, some of our fun, like long standing things are um, town and country started with a water balloon fight. The first year they had 731 water balloons, which uh-huh. sounds like a lot of water balloons. Um, the next I can year, go fast. The next year they were like, that. okay, let's go with 7,310 water balloons. Wow. That one got canceled for COVID. So they were like, well, let's double it. Um, so wow. who knows? I, well, I haven't heard this year, but maybe we'll get triple. Um, but that is kind of a, a fun, long-standing event mm-hmm. that they've taken uh, the initiative to keep going. And then for our Jackson Home, our annual event, which um, is one of my favorites uh, in the community, is Porch Fest. Mm-hmm. Um, so Porch Fest is an annual, basically a music festival in your neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Um, it's held in the historic Lambeth area neighborhood. And every year we have a selection of artists from a variety of different genres that we feel represent our community, that gives us an opportunity to bring people together. And I think when I talk about, you know, our goal to celebrate the people and the stories, that happens in our magazine and that happens on our blog. And I think the events are a really special way to kind of bring that to life and connect people in person. So 731 Day, I think the spirit of that, of Porch Fest, is really just to get people together and to celebrate and appreciate their community. So for 731 Day, businesses can be involved, uh, organizations, how do they say, okay, we're going to have this deal? Do they contact R. Jackson Home U? What's the process yeah. for that? So we promote uh, anybody who wants to submit an event, we mm-hmm. will promote. So if you just go to 731day.com, okay. uh, you will find a form you can fill out, let us know what you have going on, and we will update our website to share what's going on. And then if you're just someone in the community who wants to participate, you can mm-hmm. also check that out for the schedule of events, any deals, anything like that happening. So that was 731day.com. Mm-hmm. You can find it Very all there, easy. 731day.com. Yes. Awesome. So earlier you mentioned Porch Fest. Mm-hmm. Can you give us a couple more details about that? Yes. So Porch Fest, once again, happens every year on 731day. On um, people's porches. Yeah. Basically. So, I mean, I mean, yeah, you, we, every year it's a little bit different of a path, but mm-hmm. we um, set up the stages in people's yards. Sometimes it's the front yard, sometimes mm-hmm. it's the backyard. Um, and people just come out with their picnic blankets and their chairs and roam the neighborhood and hear live local music. So this year it will be Monday evening. It's a Monday, so it's a little different. Mm-hmm. Um, Monday evening from about five to eight or nine. One thing we really try to do is, pick a selection of artists who represent a variety of genres and also keep that uh, rotation fresh so that we're always bringing in new faces, um, Mm -hmm. kind of keeping that representative of our whole community. So this year we have five artists that uh, we have a selection committee that has chosen five artists from either originating from West Jackson, West Tennessee, or who are local. Mm. Um, so those five artists this year are Hunter Cross, who is a big advocate for the Jackson music scene. We're excited to have him again. Um, we have Robin J. They are a wonderful, uh, also returning artist, uh, Karita Cole. Uh, a Jed, and then this year we are really excited to bring in Aaron Ray, who is a singer songwriter who grew up in Jackson, has gone on to live in Nashville, um, has been touring, and we're really excited to bring her in as a headliner this year. But every year it's a wonderful experience to kind of get a chance to hear some of your local musicians, people who have um, have started here, people who care about this place and maybe like learn a new musician um hear something you wouldn't have heard before so we're excited well i love all the connections back to jackson because it's not Mm -hmm. just memphis nashville jackson's got good music and you know strong musicians so to have that obviously for 731 day have that connection is is awesome to bring these artists back so i think it's it's exciting to have Porch Fest coming back for 731 day and we have a wonderful committee that helps us plan Porch Fest so Mm -hmm. um I can't go without mentioning that Darren likes Stedman Roebuck, uh, Lauren Pritchard, um, and Rob Griffith. Um, They're really well connected in Mm -hmm. the community and really care about um, creating a lineup that is 
fresh and that represents kind of the best of the spirit that Jackson has to offer through yeah. their music. So is there any cost to attend Porch Fest? You just bring your picnic table and chair and yes it is a completely free community event thanks to our many sponsors um jackson hidden tracks is our title sponsor Uh, each musician has a stage sponsor um, and we are so grateful for that support Um, it really makes the event possible to have to have that support and to be able to pay our artists and Mm -hmm. bring the community together at a really wonderful free event is really special well thank you to those sponsors and those groups that are just bringing the community together that's great to me it's just such a shame to not know the people that we live next to and so i feel like porch fest 731 day allows us an opportunity to really get to know our community and the people that we reside next to the people that are next door down the street whatever it may be so, Courtney, how do we connect with our Jackson home? What's the best way? There are a couple of ways to connect with our Jackson home. Mm-hmm. You can always check out our website, which is ourjacksonhome.com, to read stories. Um, you can read both blog and magazine features there. Um, we're on Facebook and Instagram. You can also pick up a copy of the journal at Turntable Coffee Counter or The Co. Okay. Um, if you'd like a print copy. Um, so that's that's the best way. Check it out. The issue comes out how often? We publish twice a year, awesome. so there'll be another issue in the fall. So if you had some extra change in your pocket, pocket change, what would you spend it on? Honestly, if I had a little pocket change, I would definitely be buying a little treat, probably from a local business. Um, yeah. Spend a, a lot of time at Turntable Coffee Counter, um, Peppermint Addies, Grubbs Grocery. Just going to have a little treat. Thanks so much for being on the podcast today. Thanks for having me, and I'm excited to see everyone at 7 through 1 day. Thanks for tuning in to the Pocket Change Podcast. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe, and watch our full episodes on YouTube. The Pocket Change Podcast is brought to you by Leaders Credit Union. Where we power your passion and make lives better. Cha-ching! Leaders is federally insured by the NCUA Equal Housing Lender. Learn more at leaderscu.com.